And a good Saturday morning, Quad Cities meteorologist Andrew Stutsky in for Morgan Strackbein. A very crisp start to the day. We've got temperatures in the 40s that will eventually get at least out of the 50s this afternoon. We're expecting low 60s. We'll start off mostly sunny. You will see a gradual increase in clouds, though, especially in the afternoon and into this evening. Mostly cloudy tonight. Any rain associated with these clouds, I think, will stay well east of us as you head closer to the Chicago region. 43 for lows, thanks to some clouds keeping us just a little bit warm. And with a not so cool start tomorrow and a little bit less in the way of a northwest breeze, I think your weekend's best still on track with highs in the mid 60s as we get into your Sunday. Want to talk about some frost and potential freeze? Uh, conditions as we get to the next couple of days. Not so much tomorrow morning. We're still in the 40s as I just showed you, but Sunday night into Monday morning. That's when we're really going to see the opportunity for our first widespread frost. Notice here in the Quad Cities, we could go down as low as 34 degrees, which means some low 30s will certainly be possible in many of our other hometowns. So plan on doing the potted plant shuffle uh, Sunday night into Monday morning. Bring it inside, cover it up, especially if it's sensitive to colder temperatures and you want to hang on to it for a little bit longer. It looks like Monday morning will be the prime time for that. I want to talk about what could potentially come our way for the middle part of next week. That is a significant area of low pressure that's going to take the perfect track to give us the potential to see some of the heaviest rain in weeks, if not months, not only here in the Quad Cities, but throughout the entire Midwest. So this is Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And the, a lot of the models agree this zone right in here, including the Quad Cities, is going to see some of these higher rainfall totals, including two plus inches being a real possibility right here in the immediate Quad City. So we'll keep watch on that before it arrives, though. We've still got plenty of dry days for farmers to take advantage of and get that harvest in because I know they're not too excited about seeing this. It's kind of the wrong timing for that, but still we want to get as much rain into the ground now before it freezes in late December and January to avoid a significant worse drought situation for next spring. So we'll take advantage of the dry skies today, tomorrow, all the way through Tuesday. We'll plan on some scattered showers and thunderstorms late Wednesday, widespread rain and rumbles heavy at times on Thursday and then a couple of showers to wrap in behind this system as we go into Friday and Saturday. Have a great Saturday, Quad Cities.